Welcome to the Keto Connect Kitchen, guys. We are making a staple recipe for your household as well as ours. What we're doing is transforming our basic mud cake recipe into pancakes. And you guys ask about this all the time because pancakes, I think, are way better than mud cakes. So comment down below, let me know, mud cakes or pancakes? What would you say, Matt? Well, most people don't know what mud cakes are. I think a lot of people at this point, even non-ketoers, because delish, tasty. They do like mug cakes all the time. I like mug cakes better. So a mug cake is just combining like four to five ingredients in a mug, heating it and coming out with like a semi-decent cake. So I just think pancakes are always better. Syrup, butter, you know, you can make small ones, you can make big ones. Remember that stupid cereal trend, pancake cereal? So yeah, so this is very straightforward. What we're gonna do is we're gonna combine our ingredients here, quick whisk, and then we're gonna make some pancakes back there. So I do have a cast iron skillet heating to medium heat. You wanna get that nice and heated through before your batter's even made. So what we're gonna do is get one scoop of protein powder. In my opinion, this is the ultimate protein powder to use. Not Quest itself, but a combination of casein, whey, and milk, right? It's three? Okay, so it's whey and casein. Okay, so just, just the two, not the milk protein. Um, but the casein protein is what makes it like a lot more moist, whereas if you did 100% whey, it would just come out dry as a brick. Anything with a nice mix will do fine, but also 100% whey isolate will work. Just be noting that it'll be dry and you're gonna wanna use extra butter and syrup to top. A scoop of protein powder. And this is a single serving recipe, so if you wanna like double, triple for the sake of your family, maybe a Sunday brunch, that's super easy to do, just literally double or triple the ingredients. So we got a large egg. We're gonna do two to three tablespoons of unsweetened almond milk, pinch of salt, and half a teaspoon baking powder. And if you find it's too thin, you can add more protein powder. If it's too thick, you can add more liquid. Okay, so this looks just perfect. So let's head back to our skillet. So the trick to making sure that the cast iron skillet is pretty nonstick is you wanna get the fat source heated through as well. So we added two tablespoons of butter. We're gonna let this melt down, get a nice coating on the bottom. Our butter is heated through. And since we're doing one serving and I like my pancakes small and cute, I'm gonna use a cookie scooper. So Why don't you just make pancake cereal while you're at it? Stop, you're right. I should make pancake cereal. Um, so this will probably make like four or five pancakes. How many ever you want. You can also just make one big one. Okay, maybe we'll just do three. And now it is just a waiting game and it is important to be very patient. We're gonna let these cook. Give them a couple minutes. You're gonna start to see bubbles form on the top and they'll pop and then you'll know that they're ready to flip. So you can see that some of these bubbles are starting to form here, which is a good sign that they're pretty flippable. It's been, I would say like three to four minutes. No, perfect. perfect. <gasps> Whoa. There we go, those are beautiful. So here we're just gonna do like a minute, 30 seconds to a minute, that's usually how you make your pancakes. And we're gonna pull them off and serve them up. Okay, so I turned off the heat. Now I'm just gonna pull these off. Okay, so we're back, that was really quick. So this is a great dinner recipe even we like to make, sometimes when we're just feeling lazy. And Theo, our two year old son, also loves to get in on the action. He helps me whisk up the batter, flip the pancakes, and he loves these too. When it comes to topping your pancakes, Matt is all butter. Theo likes that too. But I am syrup all the way. And so we get asked a lot, like what syrup do I use? What syrup is our preference? And this, while not the best, this is called Chemical Farms by many people. Walden Farms Pancake Syrup is my personal choice. It has a little bit chemically taste on its own, but topping a pancake or French toast or eggs or whatever you top, uh, I think it's really tasty. Then a couple others that I like that have a nice like thickness to it are Good D's Pancake Syrup. Hers is really good and it's made with allulose. And then we've tried a couple others, but I find them that they're all very watery. I think Chalk Zero has a couple. If I'm gonna go for syrup, it's Walden Farms or it's Good D's Pancake Syrup. And that's all I really like on my pancakes. Let me just break that for you. Oh, nice. And that's how a pancake should be. Not dry, just perfectly moist. 
Mmm. Mmm. So last time I made these, they were super dry. I think I got the liquid to the protein powder ratio wrong last time. So you definitely want like a nice loose batter, I would say. This is a phenomenal recipe and we used a cinnamon toast flavor protein powder. So whatever protein powder you use will dictate the flavor of the pancake. I think just going with a straight vanilla would be good. And linked down below is the nutrition, the blog post, the ingredients, and some ingredients that we like to use linked, including the protein powder. So definitely check that out and make these pancakes for your next Sunday brunch. Mm -hmm.